Hi second graders, we have our Monday math video for you today. This entire week, we are going to be reviewing our addition strategies. Now, I know that we've been doing addition for quite a while, but it is so important to spend this week since we just had that whole week off eating turkey and filling our bellies and our brains. We want to make sure that it's stuck in your brain before we move on to subtraction. Mm -hmm. So we aren't learning anything new this week in addition. We are just going to keep practicing those skills that you've been working super hard on. So today we are going to practice just a few problems together. There is only one page. So whatever problems we don't do together, you need to do on your own. Let's take a look at number one. We have the problem 27 plus six. And this kind of looks like my townhouse again. It does. In fact, I see the attic up here, Mr. Ten's attic. I see the third floor, the second floor, and of course, all the way down here on the first floor. So we're going to see if we can put all of those skills together and practice this problem. All right, we always, 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 always start by adding the numbers in the one's house first. So I'm going to cover up the numbers in the tens house. We don't need those. And when I look at the two numbers in the one's house, I have a seven on the top and a six right below it. I'm going to draw that little carrot so that I can see the answer to that problem. Mrs. Grant, can you help me out? I have seven plus six. I know that seven plus seven is 14 because that's a doubles. Mm -hmm. So seven plus six must be 13 because it's one less. Good job. All right, let's take a look at this number 13, okay? Mr. Ones is throwing that crazy party again and there's way too many people in his house. And I remember that every time there's a group of 10 hanging out at his house, he tells them they can't stay. But where are they allowed to go? They're, going, they're allowed to go next door to Mr. Ten's attic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They can't. So we're going to take that group of 10 and we're going to bring them directly next door. Mr. Ten's is so nice. I'm going to put that right up here in the attic. So if we got rid of that group of 10, what do we have left? We just have our group of ones, three ones. All right, and I'm gonna drop that number down here on the first floor of our ones house. Am I done? No, you have to add up all your tens. Let's add the tens. We have two on the third floor, but we cannot forget everybody sleeping in the attic. We've got another group of 10 up here. So two plus one is three, and those three groups of 10 really mean three. So Mrs. Grant, what do we get as our final answer? Looks like our answer is 33. All right. So I feel like you wanted to try one of your own over there. Oh, I'd love to. I think I'm gonna skip this one and come over here okay. and do 45 plus five. So I know that I always start in the ones column. So I'm gonna kind of forget about my tens right now and focus on the fives in the ones column. What I love about this arrow is not only does it point to our answer, but it also points to the two numbers that we're adding together mm -hmm. on the other side. So those fives come together, and when I add them, and that's a doubles fact, mm -hmm. I know I get 10, all right? And so, because we have two numbers here, a one and a zero, we have something in the ones place and something in the tens place, we're gonna have to send some of our friends to Mr. Ten's house. Yep. So we're gonna take that group of tens, and we're gonna put them in his attic. And then we're gonna look over here and see that we have no ones left, but we can't leave it blank. We mm -mm. still have to put that zero down on the first floor of our ones house. Okay. So they just sent everybody over to the neighbor's yeah. house. It was like, forget it, I'm yeah. not having a party. I'm tired. Just stay yeah. at Mr. Tent. <laughs> and then our last step is to just go down the tens column and add all the numbers that we have on every floor. So one plus, plus four, gives us five and our answer is 50. Hey, not yeah. so bad. Why don't you do one more problem for us to see what happens on this one? Okay, two. all right, let's do number two at the bottom. It's weird because it's like three problems all yeah. in number Interesting. one. Interesting, yeah. Who makes these? All right, well, I know from practicing that I'm going to start in the ones place, so I'm covering up my tens and I'm going to draw my little carrot between my two and my three. I know that fact. Two plus three is five. Huh, Ooh. there's only one number there. Yeah, so what? should I send anybody to the tens attic? There's a square though, Don't, doesn't that mean I have to put something there? Wait, wait, wait. We can only send someone to the tens house if there's a number in the tens place. Oh. So not this time. 
If we have a single digit number as our answer, that means they're welcome to stay at Mr. One's house and party on. Okay. Yeah, only if there's a group of 10 do we need to remove okay. them. So this number five, because it's a ones, a single digit, we can just put it here and they are allowed to stay. We are not going to put anything in the attic in this problem. Okay. And I know sometimes that gets a little bit confusing because we get so used to putting that one in the attic. Not this problem. So when I go over here to add my tens, nothing in the attic, I only have a two. So the number in my tens place is going to be a two. Wow. So my so answer is 25. It's actually even a little easier than the problems over here. It huh? is easier. And it is really important, boys and girls, that you remember, you do not always have to bring someone over to Mr. Ten's house, okay? Because I've seen that before, and I know you have too, where I've had kids take the paper and they just go one, one, one. Yeah. They want to fill in the attic, but not every problem needs it. Yeah. So make sure that you're looking carefully and you're being cautious about where that one really needs to go and if you need to bring it over. Other than that, I think they can do this paper on yeah. their own. It's only one side. You got this.